Good evening, everyone. It's Monday, August 17th. I'm Charles Brown, Portfolio Manager with CB3 Financial here in Chicago. This is your Monday market mashup, and it was a banner day for the NASDAQ, up 113 points, easily besting the S&P 500, the Dow 30, and the Russell 2000, which is the small cap. Just a great day. A lot of big mega cap names performing well. I'll get into that in just a little bit. But we're basically seeing the rotation back to the COVID-19 leaders, as it were. Although there's been some catch up in the other indices, which I talked about last Thursday night. If you didn't watch that show, please do. Had a great guest on that night. So if you missed it, go back and watch last Thursday. And don't miss this Thursday night, where we've got some incredible data and a really interesting video that's going to help you understand understand the challenges for schools reopening. So the Monday market mashup is a shorter program. It just tells you how we're starting the week and people express they wanted to see this. So that's why we're doing it. All right. So what is happening in the U.S. economy? The story of the day, as I mentioned earlier, is the Nasdaq up 24 percent for the year. The S&P 500 nearly 5 percent. The Dow is still negative almost two and a half and the Russell minus five, but these were down in double digits in March and April. But still the Gulf is almost 30% between the NASDAQ and the Russell. And that is why it is so important to be continually monitoring your investments and being where the money is. You don't want to take on Wall Street. You don't want to get cute with it and try to outsmart Wall Street. We follow the money flow and that's how we invest for our clients. So NVIDIA, one of our holdings, up 6.7%. Home Depot, up 2.7%. Walmart, another holding, up 2.3%. And Tesla, up over 11%. People keep coming to me. Clients are saying, why do we keep holding this? We need to sell it while it's high. Okay, well, the problem with that is that it could go higher. So as long as Tesla's performing well and we have a stock split coming up later this month, we think that bodes well for a continued appreciation in that stock. So tonight, Monday night, August 17th, starts the convention season. The Democrats this week, the Republicans next week. Biden in the press has a nine point lead over Donald Trump. I do not believe those numbers. I think there is a large unspoken majority Biden will get a bump from his convention. It almost always happens. And then Trump will get a bump. And when we start seeing Rasmussen numbers in October, then it's a little more believable. But these poll numbers and the expectation for who could win do affect stock market returns. And so we have to affect those portfolio decisions based on what's going on in this area. So obviously, we trade off technicals and fundamentals. But political considerations are really important as well. So please remember to check out our new website here. If you guys haven't been there. You can get a free uh, risk analysis. You can also create a little financial plan if you like. Those two buttons on the home page are real easy to get to. Uh, if you missed any of my episodes, either the Thursday night or the Monday ones here, they're on the website. Just click the button. We have them archived all the way back to the beginning for both programs. If you miss one of my tweets, they're here on Facebook and Twitter. Both of those feeds appear on the website. OK, hope you'll check that out. And then if you're still not subscribed, well, shame on you if you're still not subscribed. But go to our YouTube homepage and you can subscribe to Facebook, Twitter. Uh, I'm tweeting, you know, every single day, sometimes twice a day. So I hope you'll check that out as well. We appreciate you guys being here watching our Monday market mashup. I am Charles Brown from CB3 Financial. From COVID to clarity, this is CB3 Live. Mm -hmm.